It's hopper season. Welcome to another episode of Tie to Catch. So the rules are simple. I find some insects on the riverbank, tie some flies that resemble them in the trunk of my car, then I try to catch some fish with them. The first cast has to be perfect, but it was not. <laughs> There's a lot of splashing over there. Maybe we'll take a look later. There was a small take while retrieving it. Wow! Ah, those are just ducks. <laughs> I'm looking for a spot that has more shade because my camera is overheating every minute. I've never fished here before. Aspius Aspius. It's a predatory carp species. This place looks nice. I was never good with hoppers. And I don't really know why. There is a nice. Oh. But I'm trying to learn. Our first fish. They are so tired in this summer heat. Wow, that's a nice one. Whew. The challenge is done. So the challenge is done. I have to tell you guys something. This is not a one day video, because last time this happened.
so the rain died down I've been sitting in my car for half an hour let's see if they like it wind is picking up That's my phone in the water. Yeah. See, I pulled a little sneaky on ya. After soaking my phone, I had to get home as fast as I could, but I had some time to prepare for this trip. So one more fish with this fly, then we'll bring out the big guns. <laughs> Oh. Ah, and right where the huge fish is. Unfortunately, that was our last one. You know what? I'm gonna try the big boy hopper. So I think grasshoppers really don't need an introduction. They are amongst what is possibly the most ancient and successful living group of insects, spread worldwide, dating back to more than 250 million years. There are more than 11,000 known species of grasshoppers. So basically there are two suborders, Silifera and Densifera. The main difference between the two groups is the length of the antennae and location of their hearing organs. With members of Silifera having shorter antennae and the tympanal organs functioning as their ears are in their abdomen, whereas antennae of members belonging to Ensifera reach at least their abdomen and their ears are located in their front legs. They can jump 20 times their size and make mysterious music with their hind legs that is referred to as stridulation and each species of grasshopper has its distinct song. I'm trying a big boy hopper in smaller size. I'm starting to think that this hopper challenge was a bad idea. It's almost 40 degrees Celsius. I just don't want to fish this fly anymore. <laughs> right into the weeds come on he's not worthy <laughs> jumping cat Nice little chub. Are there more? A small chub again. There's a nice one, a school of them hanging out over there. The wind is not helping.
This is the size that we can catch with hoppers. I had it with this hopper fly. I have to try an int. So guys, that's it for today. It's almost 40 degrees Celsius and it shows. They really don't want to take anything. But we still managed to catch some smaller chops. This was a challenge, for sure. I don't like hoppers. Next time we'll try something smaller. Anyway, please like, share and subscribe if you like the video. Thank you for watching. Bye! Wait, 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 I forgot to show you something. So after I got tired of hoppers, I tied on an orange body stretch caddis nymph. Just click the link to see how it's made. And then this happened. That was a strike. I'm glad he came out from under the tree. Whoa. It's a chub. Did I or did not tell you guys that nymphs would work? I think I did. <laughs> Come over here, dude. It's not tired yet. Yes, in the net. Nice.